But by the year 2030, it is estimated that the global space economy would be more than double its size and be valued at $1 trillion. Under India's presidency of the G20, the leaders of the top global space agencies are meeting in India to chart out a strategy for the coming times. Beyond senior correspondent Siddharth MP sent us this report from India's aerospace hub in Bengaluru. After land and sea, space is the fourth domain. Our life today would be unimaginable without space technology. ATM machines, GPS, mapping, television, communication, even internet connectivity. It's all made possible by space assets and space-based services. However, only a handful of nations possess end-to-end -end space capability. This refers to the ability to design, develop and launch rockets and satellites indigenously and have the means to process the satellite data. US and Russia have been pioneers since the 1960s. Then gradually more nations entered the space club, France, Japan, China and India. Earlier space activity was restricted only to government run agencies like NASA, ISRO and so on. But today private firms across the world are making rapid strides. They're launching powerful reusable rockets, building highly capable small-sized satellites, delivering satellite internet, mapping and predicting disasters. With space becoming an indispensable resource for mankind, it is important that space be used in a safe and sustainable manner that benefits all. That's where the G20 Head of Space Agencies meeting comes in. Ladies and gentlemen, we gather here today to explore the vast potential of the space sector, the final frontier of human exploration and a driving force behind global economic growth. Spanning across two decades, the G20 Space Economy Leaders Meeting has heads of all leading space agencies in attendance and will also feature an exhibition of the capabilities developed by India's space agency ISRO and the private sector. Representations from 27 nations are here at India's Aerospace Hub in Bengaluru to take part in the G20 Space Economy Leaders Meeting. In addition to this, there are more than 50 private space sector firms from India and more than 30 international space sector firms that are exhibiting their capabilities here. Let's remember that at present, the global space economy size is almost close to $500 billion and the key focus at this event will be to ensure that global space agencies, their private firms can all work together to ensure that each one of them can get a larger share of this lucrative space economy pipe. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.